We were able to reconstruct it all moment by terrifying moment. The attack appears time for maximum impact. Just before 2.50 p.m., this is the viewpoint seen by many of the 26,000 marathon runners who are approaching the finish line. The first of the two explosions rocks the sidewalk along the course. White smoke blasting into the air, blowing metal barricades into the street, spewing shrapnel into crowds gathered at the finish. from multiple angles just as the race clock approaches the four hour and ten minute mark. Marathon runner Bill Ifrig is knocked to the ground. Twelve seconds later, as many flee the Something scene, blew up at the a second explosion goes off about 130 yards from the first, less than a block away. Oh God, get out of the stairs! It was very loud. It, the ground shook. You could just feel it going down through you. As the injured lay on the pavement, blood staining the ground, emergency medical technicians, Boston police, and some 400 National Guardsmen already on hand for the race immediately triaged the wounded. The event's medical tent was transformed into a trauma unit. I saw one guy with his legs gone at the knees, some ankles and feet missing, shrapnel wounds on people on the sides of the head. By 3 p.m., just as the president is being briefed on the attacks, reports trickle in of yet another explosion, this time at Boston's JFK Library. It's later deemed unrelated, but in the growing confusion, there are reports of additional devices, and several schools and hospitals are briefly evacuated. Meanwhile, over 130 victims are being transported to six area hospitals. And just after 6 p.m., President Obama addresses the country, vowing to find those responsible. Make no mistake, we will get to the bottom of this. Any responsible individuals, any responsible groups will feel the full weight of justice. Stand by. No matter how many times you see it, it is still just as terrifying. I do want to show a one photograph as well, speaking to what was not. The hundreds and hundreds of bags waiting for runners who were never able to claim them. Again, a snapshot of innocence and perfection on that Patriots Day, suspended if not lost.